Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you celebrating today. I hope your day is filled with lots of love, amazing food, and lots of laughter. Visiting with family and friends, I wish you guys nothing but the best and I am so thankful to each and every one of you that allow me to be here today doing what I love and that's playing with makeup. So today's video is gonna be all about a full face of makeup that I am very thankful for. If it is your first time here on my channel, I wanna say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and this is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. You're always gonna see new makeup reviews. That is the primary content here on my channel. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes. I do makeup ranking videos. If that sounds like somewhere you wanna be and something you want to see on pretty much a daily basis. I do tend to upload quite a bit. Do me a favor and click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you like what you see, if you are just in getting into the holiday spirit, maybe you're doing some cooking while you're watching me, or you just want to watch a good old fashioned get ready with me video, Give this video a thumbs up before you go. I forgot to mention, guys, this is going to be a drugstore edition. Well, I'm sure y'all saw, saw it in the title already, but a full face of makeup at the drugstore that I'm very thankful for. Everything will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel, and you're definitely going to want to stay tuned towards the end of the video because there may or may not be a giveaway in today's video. You got to stay tuned. If y'all want to see this full face of drugstore makeup that I'm very thankful for, keep on watching. Okay, let's start first with primer. I am so incredibly grateful for this Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer. This stuff is amazing. It is worth it $6 and more. If you're looking for a dupe for the Glow Recipe Niacinamide, Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops, this would be it. However, I use the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Dew Drops. I use them as skincare. Um, I used to use them as a primer, but I decided, no, I felt it better to implement that into my skincare routine. And this, when it came out, I think it's, this came out in March, February, March of this year, somewhere around there. And I picked it up, tried it, immediately loved it, and said, you know what? Perfect combination. Use this for primer. Use that for skincare. And it just does amazing things. Amazing things to my complexion. It smells good. It just feels good. It, it has a little bit of a tack to it to wear your makeup. It'll help grip the makeup. But look at the glow. Look at the glow it just gave my complexion. Absolutely love it. Incredibly thankful for this. I picked it up on Ulta Beauty Online. So next I'm going to go in with concealer because I am actually in the middle of trying a new foundation today. Another thing that I'm very thankful for, new foundation reviews. But I'm going to go in with this one from Honest Beauty. I discovered this concealer uh, earlier this year. I believe it was in May and this is their Fresh Flex Concealer. The shade I use in this one is called Sand Sable. On me, this concealer does a good job of lasting all day. I don't get like any creasing and it stays put and it wears so well under my eye area. Right here, you're probably thinking, Steph, you're putting a lot of concealer on. It's all from one dip out of the tube, but because I'm wearing powder foundation, I just kind of want to spot conceal these areas of concern for me. I have old acne scars, minor discoloration, you know, just stuff, stuff I want to conceal. And when I wear powder foundation, I always like to lay a little bit of concealer down, especially in the T-zone because I am a normal to oily skin type and applying concealer to my nose under the powder foundation will kind of also help camouflage the pores a bit. And then of course, I want to make sure the sides of my cheeks where I have those old acne scars, minor discoloration, I want to make sure that's as um, concealed as possible. And that it also just helps grip the makeup, grip the powder a little bit. 
All right, so I think we have a good base for the new powder foundation I am trying out today. This is actually day two, and typically I don't film day two um, application, but the one I'm trying out is this one from Maybelline, and this is the Superstay 24-hour hybrid powder foundation. I picked up the shade 118 in this one. Now, as of right now, I think that this is only found on Amazon. That's where I got it from. I'm using my BK106 brush and I'm gonna start just buffing it in you guys will see I think you'll see this foundation review go up right after you watch this particular video so I'm not gonna give anything away you're gonna have to stay tuned to hear my thoughts on this one but right now is the day two application so tell me what is everybody doing for Thanksgiving did you go out of town? Are you maybe traveling right now while you're watching my video? What is the deal? I am not doing anything for Thanksgiving this year. I have my turkey trot, which is a 5K run that I do every year. I've been doing it for like, gosh, 11 or 12 years now. And then that's it. Uh, my family all got together in San Antonio this year and so I stayed behind with uh, my mom's cat to take care of him because my mom is up there for like a whole week and um, so I stayed behind to take care of him and we are planning to order a feast <laughs> I don't know yet what we're gonna get but we're gonna get something now to set the under eye concealer, I'm going to go in with this one from Flower Beauty. This is the Miracle Matte Finishing Powder. Love this stuff. I have the glow version as well. I'm equally thankful for both, but it's just a white powder. But I love how this kind of just blurs the under eye area. And so these are new little puffs that I got from She Glam. Is it She Glam or Miss Shop Miss A? They have She Glam. Next up is a bronzer that I discovered this year. I think it also came out this year. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer. I have the shade um, medium, I think, in this one. No, I have the shade 250 Light. And I'm using my BK111 brush to apply. What are some of your favorite things to eat around the Thanksgiving holiday? So I told my mom, because she's coming back the day after Thanksgiving, and she's bringing me a plate. I told her, make sure I get extra stuffing because I love stuffing. And she's making that broccoli cheese casserole. So I said, I want that. Of course, turkey and ham. Um, I love mashed potatoes and corn. And I like to put the corn on top of the mashed potatoes. I can't be the only one who does that. Um, don't like cranberry sauce. I yeah, I don't. Mm -mm. I, I don't really. I know some people they like the the sweet with the salty, but nah, I don't like that on my plate for Thanksgiving. Um, I don't really. I'm not that big into green bean casserole either. I mean, I'll eat a little bit of it, but definitely the broccoli cheese is my favorite. And when it comes to pie, I just like pumpkin pie, a little bit of whipped cream on it, even though no, not even whipped cream, just a good old pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie. We usually have sweet potato pie. My mom makes a sweet potato pie. So I'm looking forward to see what's going to be on my leftover plate because you guys know that Thanksgiving leftovers are the best. Sometimes they're even better than the actual warm meal you eat the day of. So I'm totally fine having leftovers. No big deal for me. Okay, now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Peanuts and Wet n Wild collection. This is the Gift of Giving Face Quad. And I'm just gonna do a mixture of these two blushes. The blushes are definitely the high point of this palette. The gold highlighter is okay, but the white highlighter, eh, just not my cup of tea. But I love these blushes. I am so thankful that Wet n Wild has managed to keep their prices low 
despite the cost of everything going up i haven't really noticed too much um of wet n wild like increasing their prices to me they all stay the same so i am thankful for all of those brands makeup brands out there especially the ones like at the drugstore that i don't know how they do it but they still manage to charge the same price even though it's probably costing them a little bit more to make the same product so what have you bought already guys during this cyber week i have been posting a lot of stuff in my community tab just alerts as i get them i mean i can't post everything i know it's all overwhelming and you know i don't want to overwhelm you guys so if you want some more ideas i have two black friday videos on my channel um, and definitely just check the community section and um, you can see what's going on when discount so on and so forth now for highlighter we're going to go in with a drugstore brand i am very thankful for and that is milani this is one of their baked highlighters this one is in the shade 110 dolce perla i'm using my aoa studio f19 brush Look at how beautiful that is. There is no texture to this highlighter. It's just straight shimmer and glow. Very smooth. Beautiful baked highlighter. I'm going to get my blush brush and I'm just going to go over everything. Make sure it's as seamless as possible. And this brush, I don't know if I mentioned it, the BK104. Now it's time for some setting spray, and I'm so thankful that I tried this out this year. This is the LA Girl Setting Spray Fix and Set uh, Makeup, and this is actually a pretty good one. I picked this up from Ulta. It has a good mister on it. There's not really a scent to it, and um, it's super affordable. I think it's like five bucks or six bucks. I picked this up in the summer when I did a full face of trying LA Girl makeup, and I love this one. So next up is brows, and I am incredibly grateful for these two products right here from NYX. I go in first with the uh, micro brow pencil. I have so many different shades. The shade I grabbed is brunette, and then in the lift and snatch pen, the shade I'm going to go in with today, I believe, is caramel. So I'm just going to do one brow. I'm going to do my good brow on camera, and then just to speed things up, I'll do the other brow off camera. So all I do first is just, you know, kind of define the shape a little bit, try not to go too overboard, and then right in here, I kind of bring it in a little bit, and then I'll use the pen to draw like the hair-like strokes, so just something like that. So you have the shape down, that looks like a good shape, and then from here, I'll just start drawing in the hair. All right, guys, brows are on, and I also applied some eyeshadow primer. I went in with this one from Moira. This is their Pro Long Priming Cream Shadow, and I have two shades in them. I have the white one, which is shade one, and then the one I use today is shade two. These are like dupes for the MAC paint pots, and I think those are actually on sale for 30% off. But if you're here in Texas, you can find Moira at um, some HEBs. Let's throw on a lip color, and and one of the lipsticks that I'm very thankful for, it's actually a lip stain. And it's something I've been reaching for all year long are these from e.l.f. The shade I'm going to go in with is called Spicy Sienna. I love the size. It's just perfect. And while these aren't the most long wearing, they do a good job. I mean, you know, they'll get you half a day and then you touch up after you eat. Look at how beautiful that shade is. I think it's going to go well with the holiday palette that I chose for today's video. But you can find these at Ulta pretty much wherever e.l.f. is sold. And I do have a video where I swatched them all out. I don't know. I think I made that video towards the end of 2021. I don't think it was this year, but 
I've been loving them all this year. Now the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use in today's video is a new palette from Wet n Wild and it is part of the Peanuts and Wet n Wild collaboration. I do have a review over the entire set. Wet n Wild was kind enough to gift me with the PR box, which I've already reviewed the PR box. I bought it myself from Ulta, but Wet n Wild ended up sending it to me a few weeks after. So one of you lucky viewers out there is going to get your chance to win the entire Peanuts and Wet n Wild Christmas PR box. So definitely stay tuned towards the end of the video where I will give you guys all of the details on that. But of course, you can get a head start and check the description box for all the rules. Let's start creating a look with this fun, festive palette. I hope I'm not going to recreate one of the two looks that I've already created with this palette. Um, I think I want to do, I mean, is it wrong that I want to do something red like something red and gold maybe I think I'll start with this shade and then I'm gonna work into the red and maybe even use some of this black we'll see we'll see where we go from there so I'm gonna use this brush that I got from the Care Bears collaboration that Wet n Wild did earlier this year I always love the brushes that Wet n Wild does and ironically they did do brushes for this collection, but they weren't included in the PR box. Not every single item that Wet n Wild released for some reason um, was included in the PR box. So just a heads up on that. Um, I know a lot of you have been wanting this collection and with good reason. It really is such a cute collection. I'm so thankful that they sent it to me, but even more thankful that you know, I was able to get it myself and try it for you guys, give you guys some inspiration. And now I'll be able to give one of you out there the opportunity to win one in today's video. Next, I'm going in with the red shade on a refer 14. I think we'll do a little bit of a halo eye today. One of you all asked me if I could do kind of like a reverse halo eye where I do light on each side and then something dark in the center. And I actually did that. I just uploaded a, a YouTube short where I used the new Lunar Beauty uh, 12 Days of Lunar palette. And that's exactly what I did. So hopefully y'all have, have seen that video, especially uh, the one of you out there who asked for it because I think the look turned out all right. Now I'm picking up the same shade, but on a refer 13. I always like to use my refer 13 to do um, the inner portion of a halo eye, just because it's the perfect size. Now for the center, I think I'm gonna do, let's try the white. I was gonna do the gold, but maybe I can do the gold for the lower lash line. Let's try, let's see what that white is gonna be all about. Now I picked up two new Morphe brushes because I wanted to replace my M124. Well, not replace it, but just use something that wasn't discontinued. But I don't think I got it quite right. These two brushes, one is larger, one is smaller than the M124. So I think I'm gonna use the smaller one. This one is the M213. I'm just gonna have to go straight into Ulta and look at the brushes and take my M124 and kind of compare. So I can get the one that closely resembles it. And that way when I tell you guys I'm using Morphe M124, you'll be able to find it. You'll know what I mean. Oh, but this brush is doing a great job. I love the way that looks. I'm just going to touch up the red right here, like on the sides. Just make sure everything is blended as best as it can be. All right, now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do maybe a combination of these two shades right here. I'm going to start first with this one. I'm using the BK A504. Now on a damp refer 03, I'm gonna add some of the gold. We'll probably do something a little bit different for the inner corner, a little bit brighter. Maybe I'll bring that white shade on the inner corner. I'm just picking up the white shade, adding it right in here. All right, now for eyeliner, you guys know I am incredibly thankful for the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner and I'm going to use the Peanuts version. It's the one that comes in this collection. 
And I'm just going to tight line. Now I'm going to give my lashes a curl with this really cute eyelash curler that came in the collection. This is actually a really good eyelash curler. I mean, for the drugstore, gets the job done. It doesn't like hurt or pinch your lashes. I am grateful for a new tube of Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I got the one uh, in the shade Cosmic Black. I have no idea where my Sky High Mascara went. I was almost done with it. I keep one in my purse and I keep one um, up here at my filming desk. And I have the one in my purse, but I don't know where the one here at my filming desk went. Maybe I did finish it up and I just don't remember. But um, this is a great one. I love this mascara so, so much. It just really, I look for definition and I look for separation in a mascara. This also, of course, provides length, but I have a lot of my length because I've used Revita Lash for so many years. All right, guys, so I'm going to apply mascara to the other eye off camera. Just do some minor finishing details, and I'll be right back to show you guys the completed look and let you know how you can enter for a chance to win the Wet n Wild and Peanuts Christmas Collection. All right, guys, so here's the completed look. Full face of drugstore makeup I am very thankful for. All I did was add a little bit of ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Cherry Pie to the lower waterline. And I felt the lipstick needed to have maybe a little bit more sparkle to it, maybe a little bit of pink in it. So I went in with the lip gloss that actually comes in this collection. The red lipstick and this gloss that come in this collection are beautiful. They're fantastic. And this is the entire look very festive i love the way everything turned out all of the products i used are definitely makeup products that are tried and true here in my stash and i am just so thankful so thankful that i have them now let's talk about the giveaway because one of you lucky viewers out there will get your chance to win your very own peanuts and wet n wild christmas pr box so this collection starts today and closes on thursday december the 1st at 6 p.m CST. This is an international giveaway that is void where prohibited and the winner assumes all taxes, duties, and fees associated with final delivery. So what do you do? How do you enter today's giveaway? You gotta first be subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Your comment has to be makeup or skincare, beauty products that you are thankful for. Then check the description box because there's a link to a Google form where all I'm asking you for is some basic contact information. If you have an Instagram, I'll ask you for that too. That way when I contact you, I'll be able to contact you on the email that you included and also over on your Instagram if you leave both. Now guys, on this video, I will not be responding to any comments. All I'm going to do is heart your comment and that's it. So if you see a reply that looks like it could be from me, it's not. It's not going to be from me. I'm never going to ask you to email me. I'm never going to ask you to contact me. I'm never going to ask you to send me money. I'm never going to ask you to do anything. All I'm asking you to do is what I told you and to fill out the Google form and that's it. You have to wait for me to contact you whenever that random winner is chosen. And you'll definitely know it's me by the wording of my email. So I'm going to do my best to remove those scam comments um, as soon as they come in. But there might be one or two that I miss. Please don't reply to them. Don't do anything. Just don't do anything. I will take care of it all on my end. I want us to be as safe as possible as we can online. It's unfortunate that scammers, they target these giveaways when all all we're trying to do is just share the love, share the love of makeup. And I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you. I'm so grateful that Wet n Wild was able to send me this PR box. And now I get to share it with one of you lucky viewers out there. This is going to be my Christmas slash 19K. I know we're not at 19K yet, but you know what? It's coming up around the corner. Um, but this is going to be the giveaway in honor of those two things. Who knows, guys, there might be another giveaway coming before the end of the year. I am hoping and praying that my channel makes it to 20K before the end of 2022. Oh, I 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited for all the things to come. And I'm so happy that you're spending a part of your Thanksgiving holiday with me. You guys are keeping me company because all I have to keep me company on this Thanksgiving day is my mom's cat, Cooper, who has been my house guest for almost a week now. So have fun, guys. Eat lots of good food and definitely enter today's giveaway. I want to thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever you guys are at and happy Thanksgiving. Stay hydrated guys. Don't forget to drink that water along with all the yummy food and I will see you all very soon. Bye.